Start line, baby. Let's go. Here we go. One mile down. 105 miles to go. No biggie. We're running way too fast. Get out. The adrenaline's getting us. Mile five. How we doing? Morale super high right now. <laughs> A little bit of a queue. How's it going, Amy? Eight miles in. Look at this. So only 98 miles to go. 13 miles in. Coming into the uh, first big aid station. French word for bread is pain. Thirty-one miles in, fifty k. We have climbed about nine thousand five hundred feet. And the last peak we went up and over had a little bit of snow and quite a bit of mud. So, got a little chilly on the top, but I don't know if you can see, still in a t-shirt. 55K, aid station. 38 miles in, and uh, we're in the middle of like a, some sort of wind storm, cloud, Oh, temperature dropped, something like the 30s. It's very cold, very windy. I don't even know if you can hear me. And 43 miles in, and uh, sun's just starting to kind of creep out. This is gonna be nice. Uh, starting at nighttime is, is always a struggle. Although with jet lag, the daytime in France is nighttime in California. So, just an added wrinkle of difficulty. But I made it to Italy, mile 50, eating pasta. It's really good. 56 miles to go. Hey Lauren, my love. When you come to the next aid station, will you bring me a top for my bottle that looks like that? Because I lost it and it fell off. So, now I only have one water bottle, <clears throat> which is going to be an issue, but we'll make it work. Thank you. See you soon. Mile 60. Look at this. Sixty-eight miles in, and uh, I'm coming down off the tallest peak on the course, which was a real butt kicker. I'm not gonna lie, it uh, definitely ate my lunch. But what goes up must come down. And now I'm coming down into Switzerland. Uh, some guy just came up to me and he told me that he was in hell, and I said, "Well, hell sure is beautiful." And then he looked at me and started running. So, I don't know if that was motivation or he just wanted to get away from me. Or maybe both. All right, just leaving the first Swiss aid station. Uh, I bonked a little hard on the uh, the last section. I ran out of water. It's got a little warm here. <laughs> From all rain and snow to a hot sunny day. So, who would have thought? Anyways, uh, I had to sit down and, well I didn't sit down. I had to stop and 
rehydrate a little bit because I was feeling off. So hopefully I got enough foods on board. It doesn't help only having one water bottle. This is how you get water in UTMB. Just flowing right. 80 miles in, just hit 24 hours. And I got 26 miles to go with 8,000 feet of vert. So that sounds like a lot of fun. We made it to mile 80. 26 miles to go. Yay, pump stretch. You know what the dog said when he got his tail caught in the door? What? It won't be long now. How's it going? Tough? Yeah. The hallucinations have started. I saw Dante's Inferno paintings on a dairy cow in the spots. I smell so bad that it's like keeping me awake. See you in 10 miles. What are you doing in this situation? Can you please get off the trail, sir or ma'am? No? Hi. Oh. Look at that cowbell. Can I get past you? Please? Mm. 87 miles in with 28,000 feet of vert. It's officially hallucination time. I was just talking to somebody I'm running with and I go, hey, you see that chipmunk or is it a squirrel? And he was like, there's nothing there. And there wasn't. And then I just saw this really beautiful purse and right next to it was a belt buckle with a skull and crossbones on it. And I looked down at it and realized it was a big pile of cow dung and a rock. So things are going well. Not the soup. Sorry about that. 90 miles in. Have a seven mile section ahead of me with uh, 3,000 feet of vert. And I am on the struggle bus. <coughs> so, what can you do? Gotta get it done. Send it. There he is. <laughs> Oh, we're almost there. Oh, sleepy one, but we got it. <laughs> mile 98. Got like 10 miles to go. Looks like I'm going to get a couple bonus miles. And uh, yeah, feel better. I ate some soup, and this last section I just did worked out a lot better. So, yeah, let's go hit these 10 miles. 106 miles in, and it looks like I got another four. So, I'm gonna definitely get some bonus miles on this race. Anyways, uh, hopefully it's not too bad. It's all downhill, but my quads are shot. 109 miles in. So it's your daily reminder to do hard things. This was hard. Yeah. 